This is the center excludable rail. It's a unique feature of a mall. When I use it, the rail is in the up position to run a panel that is five foot wide for the five foot machine or four foot wide for the four foot machine. I simply drop it. We're going to use it because we're running small panels. We we'll run fields T and R. The clamps are adjustable, left and right, easily with a uh, quick connect uh, jacquard handle. Okay, so. Now we're going to show a machine processing a panel vertically and a panel horizontally. And I'm going to mark the references so that the reference of the panel is consistent with the zero zero of the machine. This panel will be placed vertical for vertical drilling. making sure they are at the same end of the panel. We have a panel that is perfect on the front and on the bottom. Now we're going to demonstrate running A and T with the center field center field in position, load A. This shows running the machine in alternating sequence and the product, productive cycle of the machine. Another testament of the machine's accuracy is to cut the ends off the two parts that we did and put one on top of the other to see the dowel length and the fact that they're all consistent. We also pointed out that the dowel stroke is measured to end of stroke and if you look at the ends of the dowels they are all consistent not bottomed on the whole depth but almost bottomed. Uh, lubrication system. We also, ha also have an air sensor to know that there's enough air pressure is correct for the machine operation. Here we have the glue and the dowel tanks. This is the standard system. We also uh, uh, have optional a high pressure uh, glue delivery system from, to, to uh, extract glue from a five gallon bucket. Here are your nose. Notice the x-axis drive uh, by uh, AC brushless motor, alpha reduction gearbox, rack and pinion for quick acceleration, deceleration. Square guides for uh, linear motion. Also we have a centralized grease distribution system with uh, monitoring of each block uh, for all the uh, linear transmission. Machine has a standard a manual Z axis. This is a jacquard handle tightener. You've got a uh, Seco digital readout that you can adjust for the height of the dowel from the table. Additionally, we use a ball screw. We can automate this axis by putting a AC brushless motor uh, in, in place of the manual uh, Seco. Tighten it down, machine holds Z axis position. The dowel injector <coughs> has two sensors to sense the stroke, you can see this light is lit and when the stroke fires it bottoms on this light. 
which is important to understand because the dowel is driven, driven to a predetermined depth rather than bottoming out on the hole. The drill, the adjustment for depth is here. You unlock it and if you want to drill 18 millimeters deep, you set it and then you lock it. Or where we have this machine set for 17 millimeters deep. The dowel revolver has three components. The revolver itself keeps a dowel held in position, ready to dowel, so you can drill and dowel simultaneously. We also have a laser that checks to see that the dowel is present as identified by the red light. So if a dowel does not fall down this tube and into the dowel revolver, then the machine will stop and pause and give an error. The, two, the dowel revolver is actuated by this cylinder, which also checks stroke for complete rotation. You'll see these lights change hand when during operation.